In this teaching video, I'll be looking at 3.3 simultaneous equations on graphs. 3.3 represents chapter 3, section 3 of the person A level maths, pure maths, year 1 textbook. I'm going to introduce this particular teaching video by going through what happens when you have a graph of a linear equation and a graph of a quadratic equation. When they come together, what happens? Let's have a look, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so the graph of a linear equation and the graph of a quadratic equation can either number one intersect twice number two intersect once number three not intersect okay so when we take our linear equation and we substitute into our quadratic equation the resulting quadratic equation is the one that we can find the discriminant for when you find the discriminant this will tell us the number of points of intersection so there will be either two intersections one intersection or no intersection Let's have a look at what it looks like graphically. So intersect twice. You could have a positive quadratic or a negative quadratic. Your line could intersect the quadratic twice. Okay. And the same over here, the line intersects the quadratic twice. So in this particular scenario, if we were to find the discriminant b squared minus 4ac, it will be greater than zero because there are two intersections. There are two roots, two solutions. Okay, let's have a look at intersect once. So you could have a positive quadratic or a negative quadratic. So our line intersects once. So if the line is intersecting once, what we have here is a tangent. Okay, this is a tangent, this is a tangent. If we calculate the discriminant b squared minus 4ac, in this scenario, it will equal a zero. There's only one root, okay, as you can see over here. Right, third one, not intersect. Again, you could have a positive quadratic or a negative quadratic. And what we have here is no intersection, so the line will not intersect the quadratic. So you've got something like this. Now, if we calculate the discriminant b squared minus 4ac in this in instance, it will be less than zero. There are no real roots, no intersection, as you can see from the graph. Here is an exam style question. Given the simultaneous equations, 2x minus y equal 1, x squared plus 4ky plus 5k equals 0, where k is a non-zero constant, k is not equal to 0. Part A show that x squared plus 8kx plus k is equal to 0. So, the very first step is to label your equations. So I've got equation 1 and I've got equation 2. I want to get a quadratic equation involving x. So what I need to do is eliminate the y in equation 2. For this to happen, I need to make y the subject in equation 1. So for part A, we start off by making y the subject in equation 1. So we get y equal 2x minus 1. We can call this equation 3. Okay, so now we substitute equation 3 into equation 2. So if I do this, I get x squared plus 4k in bracket 2x minus 1 plus 5k is equal to zero okay so now i can expand and clean this up so i've got x squared plus 8kx minus 4k plus 5k equal to zero this simplifies to x squared plus 8kx plus k is equal to zero as required okay so that there completes part a let's move on to part b 
Given that x squared plus 8kx plus k equals 0 has equal roots, part b find the value of k. So equal roots implies that there is only one real root. So one real root therefore implies that b squared minus 4ac, the discriminant is equal to 0. So now we're going to identify our a, b, and c. So if we go back to our quadratic equation, ladies and gents, our a is the coefficient of x squared. So a is equal to 1. b is the coefficient of x, which is 8k. And c is the constant term, which is k. So now we substitute a, b, and c into b squared minus 4ac equal to 0. Okay, so I'm going to carry out the substitution. I've got 8k squared minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by k is equal to 0. So this becomes 64k squared minus this becomes 4k. Right, so now we can solve for k by factorization. We can take out a factor of 4k. So I've got 4k in bracket 16k minus 1 close bracket equal 0. So we can set 4k equal to 0 and we can set 16k minus 1 equal to 0. So this equation over here has a solution k equals 0 and this one here has a solution k equal 1 over 16. However, k is a non-zero constant, k is not equal to 0. So we must reject this solution, but accept this solution over here. So k is equal 1 over 16. That there completes part B. Let's have a look at part C. For this value of k, k equal 1 over 16, find the solution of the simultaneous equations. So when we substitute y into equation 2, we end up with this quadratic equation involving x. Now I'm going to go back to this quadratic equation and I'm going to substitute k equal 1 over 16. So substitute k equal 1 over 16 into this equation over here. So if I do this, this gives me x squared plus 8 multiplied by 1 over 16, x plus 1 over 16 is equal to 0. Clean this up. So 8 multiplied by 1 over 16 is just a half. x plus 1 over 16 equal to 0. Again, you can solve this quadratic equation either by factorization, completing the square, or using the quadratic formula. Whichever one works best for you. So if I use my class with calculator, the equation function, and I substitute my coefficients in, the solution to this particular quadratic equation would therefore be x equal minus 1 over 4. Now, to put the icing on the cake, we need to work out the solution for y. So we can substitute x equal minus 1 over 4 into equation 3. So this implies that y is equal 2 multiplied by minus 1 over 4, take away 1. So this gives me minus 3 over 2. Okay, so that there completes the exam style question. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe.